This is the AltCare TV Game of the Week. Brought to you by Sarda, where you can tap your way to pay. Altman Health Foundation, we've got you. Old Carolina Barbecue. Friends and Family Credit Union, serving Stark County for over 60 years. The Pro Football Hall of Fame. Maslin Cable TV, we go the extra smile. CKP Heating and Cooling, we keep the big dogs comfortable. Chibo's Restaurant, Marathon Canton Refinery, and Altcare, where you matter. It's been 51 years since these two schools, separated by nine miles, have played each other. Tonight, they're billing it as the Battle of Route 800. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Clyde Breckbuehler Stadium and our WHBC Altcare TV Game of the Week. Tonight, the Canton South Wildcats will play host to the Sandy Valley Cardinals. I'm Frank Salona, joined by my broadcast team, as we do every week, Coach Elmer Smith, or Elmer Sheets, I should say, and our sideline reporter, Derek Philo. Bob Jeffries will join us a little bit later on up in the booth. Gentlemen, this is a game that I think a lot of people, including myself, and, and I know some of you have talked about this, it's a game that these schools are so close, but they don't play each other in football, and we just don't understand why. Last time they played, 1971. It's been a long time. Some of, the, some of these parents haven't even been born yet when these two teams played the last time. But, Coach, let's turn to you, and let's talk a little bit about Canton South and what they present. I know Coach Dennison is very excited about his quarterback, Poochie Snyder, and he's got some talent around him. There's no question about it, Frank. Uh, the Wildcats at this point are one and one, okay? Uh, they lost to St. Clairsville and they beat Claymont last Saturday. Uh, last year they were seven and four, and as you mentioned, they're division four, and they have 17 re re uh, returning lettermen and t only 10 seniors. And the other big thing, which is a, a real plus for Canton South, they're in the pack seven this year. Uh, three kids I'd like to mention uh, to watch th in this game. Number 76, Mac Grizar. He's a 6'2", 185-pound offense and defensive lineman. And Coach Dennison said this young man has made himself into a good football player. And the other one, we watched him last week, number one, Xavier Williams. 6'3", 165 pounds, receiver, defense back, returns punts. He's a senior, very, very dangerous receiver. Nice soft hands. If he's back there catching punts, he has good hands. Uh, and finally... Uh, Mr. Everything, number 19, Poochie Snyder, uh, six foot, 165 pound quarterback, junior. This guy can do it all. He can run, he can pass, he can run to his right and throw, he run to his left and throw, he can throw the soft pass uh, down the sidelines, and he can drill it between the hashes. He is uh, a good football player, and it's going to be very exciting to watch him tonight. Yeah, he's the real deal. We were here last week. We did watch him and then some of the weapons he has around him, and he is definitely the real deal. Could be one of the best quarterbacks in Stark County. Could be. We'll, we have a few more games to go, but we'll find out. Absolutely. All right, Derek, let's talk about the Sandy Valley Cardinals. Now, we know their quarterback, Nick Petro, is not going to play tonight. He is still out with that shoulder injury. But Coach Gamble has a young freshman who played last week, 200 yards, two touchdowns in that ball game against Manchester at Manchester. Tough place to play, but he came through for him. What should we look for with the Cardinals this, this evening? Yeah, um, talking about uh, uh, Nick Petros, Coach Gamble talked about the fact that he thinks that he's the third best quarterback in Stark County. I won't name number two, but he had Poochie Snyder as number one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you talk about Drew Gray, Graybill, number nine uh, freshman quarterback. It's tough coming in as a freshman, but he told Coach Gamble before the game last week, I don't know if you heard this, he said, Coach, I'm not nervous at all. And Coach Gamble told him, well, that makes one of us. So, um, you know, he ended up throwing for 200 yards last week. But, uh, you know, Coach Gamble in his 14th season, I, I, I got to tell you that I told him, I, I went to practice this week, and I told him that I am impressed with the way that he has helped change the culture. And he says that's not something you intend to do. It just happens by surrounding yourself with good people. And he's definitely done that. You know, he came to Sandy uh, coaching at Walsh University, and he said his first year there, they, they were four and six the previous year, and they were high-fiving each other. So two other guys to uh, keep keep an eye on are number 11, Troy Snyder. Uh, he's a wide receiver, free safety. You'll see him all over the field, probably their best all-around athlete. And then um, a guy who, under the radar, um, Coach Gamble told me to watch for, Dwayne Early, number 77, sophomore, DN. And uh, he said, watch out for this guy. He's all over the field, very, very emotional. 
Well, speaking of emotion, I think be a lot tonight, guys, because of the distance between these two schools, only nine miles. They know each other. They know each other very well, and it's going to be uh, showcased right out there on the football field tonight. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have more from Bri uh, Breck Bueller Stadium here in Canton South. We'll be back right after this. At AltCare, we care about your well-being and the importance of being well. You deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. CKP Heating and Cooling is the go-to name for heating, cooling, and more. Local owners Chaz and Ty want to thank the community for their business and support. For heating, cooling, refrigeration, boiler work, sheet metal, custom fabrication, and more, go with CKP. Call 330-791-3029 or visit them online at ckphvac.com. Around here, we like to cheer for the local team, and MCTV is here to connect you to the game. MCTV provides reliable high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. From checking scores online, to streaming games or watching replays, or even playing the game yourself, we've got the speed you need. Call today to add or upgrade internet service. We're connecting what matters most. MCTV, we go the extra smile. And welcome back here to Breck Bueller Stadium. Frank Salona along with Coach Elmer Sheets. Derek Philo down on the sideline. Bob Jeffries joins us down up here in the booth. And we are set to go between the Cardinals and the Wildcats in a ball game that uh, certainly has its billing here in the Stark County, Southern Stark County area. Let's take a look, first of all, Elmer Sheets to our MCTV keys to the game. What are your keys for tonight? Frank, uh, the last time Les played, you mentioned 51 years ago. Um, this is, a, this is a, a very long rivalry. Um, Brian Gamble has done a great job coaching. He has some great coaches with him. His dad and he has Fred Thomas, both uh, excellent coaches. And uh, the, the Cardinals have to play well to win tonight. And Canton South, they got great skill and Poochie Snyder. What more can you say? <laughs> that is the key, That's certainly. It. Poochie Snyder and the Cardinals definitely have to play careless football tonight as they are getting ready to kick this off. This is our marathon. Canton Refinery kickoff, and the Cardinals are set to kick this one off to the Wildcats as we are just seconds away. And there is the opening kick as it is taken by Williams across the 35 to the 40, has running room midfield, still up on his feet, and he's going to take it into the house for the opening touchdown. <laughs> And just like that, Canton South wasted nothing but 13 seconds, 84 yards for the score. And that certainly is a friends and family credit union rock solid play of the game nominee right off the bat. As we take a look here, Coach, he had a nice seam and he took it pretty much untouched. Well, Frank, he was one of my players to watch and watch him. He's pretty doggone good. Yes, sir. <laughs> And taking it is Xavier Williams, the distance, 84 yards. And the extra point attempt coming from Landon White is up, and it is good. So just like that, 11.47 to go here in the first quarter. And guys, before we even uh, got settled in our seats, the Wildcats Put it on the Cardinals with a long touchdown to open this one up. Let's go down on the sidelines and check in with our sideline reporter. Brought to you by Chibo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. Derek Philo's down there. Derek, he ran right by you. He ran right in, and I'll tell you what, th th that's what Kent South can do. They, they're one score, you know, one play away from a score, and uh, they showed it on the very first play of the game. So the 
Wildcats did not even have to go on offense and they lead on the scoreboard 7-0. Just underway here on a beautiful night for football. Game time weather, 82 degrees, partly cloudy skies. But uh, it has been just a beautiful day all day today. Got some sun shining down there on the field as you see as Landon White gets the ball down on the tee and getting ready to kick this one back to Sandy Valley for the Cardinals. They will send Morris deep. He'll be standing right around the 15 yard line. Frank, it'll be interesting to see how Sandy Valley responds to this. So, well, as you heard Derek talk about, they've got a freshman quarterback, and it's going to be even more important. Yeah. Here is a kickoff taken at the 25. A oh. little bit of running room. Got it out to about the 37 yard line before he goes down. And the Cardinals will start their first drive on offense here as. They are led by out on the field by their freshman quarterback, Drew Graybill. We'll take a look here in a second at the Cardinals starting lineups. Graybill is the quarterback. He's going to send three wide receivers on the near side. Here is a pass left side. Caught, broke a tackle, got it to the 42-yard line, and a nice play there by Chad Davis, the junior. And the Cardinals, just a quick hitter like that, Coach, and uh, picks up a, a few good yards on first down. Well, and keeping it simple for this freshman quarterback right now. That was a pretty simple pass. Let's take a look here at the Cardinals' offense. The wide receivers, Gear, Morris, Snyder, and Gillard. The offensive line, Neary, Doherty, Little, Early, and Russell. The running back is Chad Davis, and the quarterback oh, is the freshman, fumble, they got Drew Graybill, and you saw that. On the exchange there, a fumble, and the Cardinals have fumbled it away. Let's take a look here. And I talked with Coach Brian Gamble here before the ball game, and he said they're a slow starting team, and unfortunately, a couple of big plays there has proven him right. Frank, they better pick up the speed. They're going to be in big trouble. Yep. Be interesting to see if South goes for the juggler right, right away here. Well, the Wildcats... As we talked about, Jack Pucci Snyder is their quarterback. He's going to hand it off. Running room, broken tackle, still on his feet. That's Holston. And all the way down to the 15-yard line goes Ja'Kai Holston. And, boy, just like that, Coach, no block or no uh, uh, stopping up front there at that defensive line. And their offensive line had their way. Frank, that was a pretty simple play. 23 yards on the carry they ran between the, the, the ran between the guards and picked up what 20 30 yards here yeah four receivers in the pattern this time smith or pucci snyder going to throw end zone over throws the intended receiver which was williams xavier williams had it really go off his fingertips but just a little too high for him So it'll bring up a second down and 10 for the Wildcats. Another handoff. Holston has some more running room. Gets it near the five to right around the six-yard line. And the Wildcats have a short third down play here coming up. Coach, you win these games certainly at the line of scrimmage. And right now, Canton South is having their way. Well, <laughs> It's hard to say they're winning. I mean, uh, so here's Snyder going to hand it off again, it. and it is a well. They're saying he got down to the boy, right about the two-inch line. As we take a look at the running back that time, that was Zion, uh, Zion Culver with the carry, and it's going to bring up. A fourth, or I'm sorry, they did give him the first down. It is a first down, and it is first and goal, and they are about the six-inch line, if you will. Yeah. 
There is a handoff oh. into the end zone. Culver in. just walks right in, and just like that, Canton South is up by two touchdowns before the Cardinals knew what hit him. Boy, that, you know, the, the kickoff return was a big play, but the fumble might have been bigger. Yeah. Fumble might have been bigger. So the extra point attempt by White is up, and it is good. And with 9.27 to go here in the first quarter, the Wildcats have extended their lead to 14 to nothing. As we take a break here from Breck Bueller Stadium, you see our scoreboard there, our CKP heating and cooling scoreboard. Canton South 14, Sandy Valley nothing. We'll be back after this timeout. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. Sarda has two new ways to pay. With the tap to pay cards, reload and use the Sarda scorecard over and over. It's secure, convenient, orderly, reloadable, and economical. Perfect for frequent riders. Or choose the temporary, limited use Sarda touchdown card. It's better for occasional riders. They're the two most modern ways to tap your way to everywhere. And they're both from Sarda. Down in the Carolinas, you'll find roadside barbecue shacks around every hill and down every back road. Around here, you'll find authentic Carolina barbecue at, where else? Old Carolina barbecue. It's nothing fancy, but it's Q done right. Starting with meats cooked low and slow all night on site, along with scratch made sides and tempting desserts. Old Carolina is a taste of Southern hospitality right in your backyard. Visit oldcarolina.com to order online. We'll be waiting for you. Back here at Breck Bueller Stadium. 9.27 to go in the first quarter. And after this kickoff, we'll go down to the sidelines, check in with our sideline guy, Derek Philo, as the Cardinals find themselves with a 14 to nothing deficit. Here is the kickoff taken right around the 15 yard line, across the 25 and down is Lucas Gillen. And they're going to mark the football right at the 20, 25 yard line, looks like, 26 yard line for the Cardinals. Down to the sideline, Derek Philo brought to you by Chibo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. Derek. You know, guys, uh, in talking to Coach Gamble this week, he said his biggest concern was, was starting out flat and letting them get on the board, and that's exactly what happened with that Zion Culver touchdown right there. Yeah, the Cardinals. Nothing doing that time. The helmet goes flying as Chad Davis goes down. He may have lost a, well, let's see where they mark it. They're going to mark him at the 25. He's going to lose two on the carry. You know, Frank, it's really important that Sandy Valley get some first downs, not necessarily score. Mm -hmm. They got to get some first downs. They got to, I mean, keep going backwards. Yep, let's take a look at the Wildcats defense. Gear, Spear. Sims and Stevens across the front. The linebackers are Culver, Fricky, Karavik, and the defensive backs, Williams, Hill, Fitzgibbon brothers are back there, Jordan and Josh. Here's a pass, caught, and getting some running room across the 30 to the 35 yard line is Gillen, and Lucas Gillen gives the Cardinals a little bit of breathing room there as it brings up a third down and short for Sandy Valley. 
They have it at the 35 yard line. So coach, just like you said, that's that's something that the Cardinals need to do. Some positive they things. Gotta get some, they need a first down right here. I don't know what play they're going to call, but they got need a first down. Yep. So they've got four receivers in the pattern this time. Two wide and two near side. Cardinals looking the, across the way. Coach Gamble calling the plays for him. The freshman Drew Graybill will hand it off. A little bit of running room yeah. and enough for the first down. Nice bit of, a bit of running there by Chad Davis and he broke some tackles and got the Cardinals their first first down. Did a real nice job of running. He was using his hand, crawling along there. <laughs> Let's take a look here at the replay. You can see Davis broke a tackle there. there. And yeah, you're right, down, coach. You had that hand down. down. Got a couple extra yards. Absolutely. So first down for Sandy Valley, 8.04 and counting here in the first quarter. Here is a pitch. Really Gill. Going here. That's Gillen. has got some running room, yep. turns it upfield. Nice tackle that time by. The Wildcats coming up and making the stop is Lance Long and a good pickup for the Cardinals on first down brings up a second down and three. So another positive for the Cardinals. Just gotta, they gotta put some first downs together. Get, you know, get back in the ball game here. Holding the ball a little loose there though. He might uh, <laughs> wanna secure that. Quads, quads to the right. Yeah, they're gonna send four one way and Here's Graybill gonna throw and a little too low as said Jack Murphy, I think, was not able to come up with it. No, that was uh, Chapin Greer. So Greer not able to come up with it. It was a low throw. Brings up third down and two. You can see Graybill rolls out and kind of threw it at his feet. All right, what do they got here? Second, or third down and two. Again, man in motion this time, handoff. Maybe oh, a little running room, bounces it out. And a nice job there by yeah. Chad Davis. Got it to the, about the 41-yard line of Canton South. That'll move the chains. Nice job that time by Chad Davis for the Cardinals. Take a look here at Davis. He got a little bit of steam going on his right. 12 yards on the carry and I'll tell you what, He's a tough kid. He puts his puts his uh, shoulder down and fights for that extra yardage. They just picked up their what their third first down in a row here. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's another handoff that is yep. Davis, and not this, this one not going anywhere. Davis tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Big number 76. Gazar is there, your guy. Yep. Coach says he's, he's made himself a football player in the weight room. Take a Whoa. look at him right there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He <laughs> six said no. <laughs> no. He, no. Put him down. He, he thought that. So Aiden Gear was there as well. Whoa, and got, oh. South jumps off sides. So the Cardinals get a, a little bit of a break here on second down. A little bit more manageable now. Second down and five instead of second and ten. Oh, a lot better. What is it? Yeah, second and five. So clock is at 620 and counting here in the first quarter and Cardinals on the move now. There's a pass left side, pass oh. caught. Good oh. bit of running and a nice tackle again by Lance Long. He brings down Jason Morris who made the catch and take a look here as Morris caught this nice fake there on the right side at the, the defensive end, a little fold. And take a look here as Number six, Chad Davis picks up a few yards. Well, they got third and four or three, four. Third and three, three. at the 34 yard line. So the Cardinals probably in four down territory here. Graybill gonna roll right, throws, caught. And I think they're gonna give him enough for yeah. a first down. That is Greer and Chapin Greer will pick up the first down so the Cardinals keep the chains moving. Frank, they're they're getting into a rhythm. Mm -hmm. They're getting into a rhythm now. And for that freshman quarterback, that's really, really important for him. Yeah, right on par with what yeah. Coach Gamble told me. He yeah. says we're a slow starting team. And I yeah. said, what do you mean by that? He said, we just we just can't get going. And well, it cost them two touchdowns early, but yeah. they are fighting back right now. 
Here's a wide open receiver. Nice broken Broke tackle down. there. Got it to the 20-yard line. So good run in there. Going to bring up third down and one for the Cardinals. And looks like the freshman Graybill has settled in a little bit. Yes, he is. And again, good coaching for keeping his passes really simple. Yep. Real simple. Yep. And that was Morris on the reception. And we talked with Coach Frank Gamble before yeah. the ball game. And, uh, you know, he works with these quarterbacks. He's yeah. the guy that's there at practice. And he's got a lot of faith in these kids. I know that, yeah. you know, Nick Petro is out for this week. But this is great experience for this young man. Here's a, yeah. a play. He's not going to get too far. Good defensive play there for South. Ja'Kai Holston was in on the stop. You get so, brought to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, no gain there. Brings up third down and two. Again, four down territory for Sandy Valley. Nice play also by Aiden Gear. Clock continues to roll, 4.02 and counting. Cardinals going to send three receivers on the near side, one on the far, or I'm sorry, three on the far side, one on the near. Graybill has Davis to his right. He's going to roll right this time. Throws. Has a Got it. receiver. Nice catch. And Gillen Got a first down. with another first down. So the Cardinals, that's their, what, sixth bob on this drive? Five or six? Five. 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 They're doing what they have to do. Controlling the clock. Yep. So Sandy Valley, not really a running team, but they kind of run with the pass, if mm -hmm. you will. Kind of safe passes, it's, dink and dunk down the field. The Again, four receivers in the pattern. Gray Bill, nice fake, throws, end zone, has a man wide open. Mm -hmm. Touchdown, Cardinals. Great catch there by Troy Snyder for Sandy Valley, and Gray Bill sold that one, Coach. Yeah. He rolled to his right and threw back, and Snyder was wide open. Here's a look at it. You can see him. Beautiful spiral, and Snyder was there. Yep. Hauls it in. Great catch right into your living room. So, so the that Cardinals. Freshman, that's big. Yep. That's Cardinals big. get on the board. Mace now for the extra point attempt. Still waiting on a, another player here for the Cardinals. And now we are set. Play clock. Plenty of time. 15 seconds. There's the extra point. Up, and it is good. Yep. So... With 3.26 to go in the first, Sandy Valley answers, and they cut the lead in half. We'll take a break. Cardinals trail by seven. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is the ultimate football fan destination. The Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy, the only place in America to see every Super Bowl ring your chance to see all 362 bronze busts. There is so much more, including a holographic Disney-like theater, the Game for Life, and just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Purchase your tickets online now. Get your day started with Pam Cook. She's like your own personal smartphone, and she's fully charged. The news of the day, every day on Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook. 1480 WHBC. American Classic Entertainment is now showing on your TV. All your favorite classic shows like Mike Hammer, Acapulco Heat, Murdoch Mystery, Forensic Factor, Booker, Cracker, Dingray, and more. Ace American Classic Entertainment is on the Dot 7 sub channel of this station. Ace, the new home for American classic entertainment. It's Kenny and JT. Can you lose one game and still play for a national championship? Yes. No, 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 not necessarily. You cannot lose a game in your division of the Big Ten. He's got an opinion, and he has got an opinion. The Kenny and JT Show, weekdays between 3 and 7 on WHBC. Back here at Canton South, the Cardinals have gotten on the scoreboard. Coach, you have a recap of that really impressive Sandy Valley drive. Number of plays was 13. Time of possession, six minutes and one second. Total yards, 73. And it was a cap by a 16-yard TD pass from Graybill to Snyder. Extra point good. Canton South, 14. Sandy Valley, 7. All right. And they kick off a short kick. A bouncer going to go off of the chest. 
And the Cardinals cover it very well that time as they bring down Zion Culver. And much better, Derek Philo, as we go down on the sidelines, brought to you by Chivo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. Coach Sheets, you kind of alluded to it, but I'll tell you what, from experience as a freshman quarterback on a Friday night, there's nothing that can help you more than a few short passes to, to build that confidence. And I love what Sandy's doing with the, you know, their, their little dink and dunk plays, and, and it opened things up. There's yeah. no question about that. I, I, you know, you got to give uh, the coach Gamble and his dad, Frank, uh, they're calling a good offensive uh, game plan so far. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So and there's a timeout on the field as uh, maybe a might be a water break here. But let's take a look here at Canton South's offense. Four receivers, Pew, Stevens, Williams, and Castle. The offensive line, Jason Clark, Krieger, Gear, and Treacher, as along with Gazar. And the running back is Holston, and obviously the quarterback is Pucci Snyder. So, Coach, uh, you know, if it wasn't for a couple of, of maybe inexperienced plays there at the beginning, you give up the long touchdown and then the fumble on the snap. I mean, Sandy had a great drive right there. They, they've they really answered. Well, <laughs> Frank, the, the key now is how is uh, Sandy Valley going to respond? Yeah. How is Canton South going to respond? Now, if they go down here and score again in two or three plays, mm -hmm. it's probably going to still be a long night. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. You know. Absolutely. But they, they got to play great defense. So Pucci Snyder has the offense to the line, throws, got a receiver caught, and at the 35-yard line, nice job. A pitch and catch that time. That is Josh Fitzgibbon. So a pickup of five yards brings up second down and five. Well, here we go, another season of Buckeye football, and it all starts Saturday night in Columbus as Ohio State hosts Notre Dame. You'll hear the game live on 1480 WHBC. Our pregame will start at 6 o'clock. Kickoff is at 7.30 from the shoe. You're home for the Buckeyes, 1480 Whoa. WHBC. What a play defensively. Oh, We've got a fumble and a recovery, and the Cardinals have it, and they have it inside the 10-yard line as Holston picked up, or I'm sorry, that was uh, Morris who picked up the fumble and ran it back. And the Cardinals now are set up inside the 10 yard line. And boy, oh boy, coach, how the tide has turned. <laughs> you know, it, which <laughs> was really, that kid to have enough presence to not fall on the ball, yeah. to pick it up and run with it. That <laughs> would, that would, that, yeah, there you see it. That's right thinking. There. Yep. He picked it up and. Too bad he doesn't have a just a little bit more speed. Well, okay. <laughs> that's going to be tough to outrun. Uh, Number three there for, for Canton yeah, South. He certainly is a, you know, Castle has some speed, and he ran him down. So the Cardinals back on offense. Gray Bill, he's got Davis to his left. Going to fake the handoff, keep it, run it run and it, he's got it. running room, and okay. he gets it to about the five-yard line, so a pickup of about three yards. Yep. Clock continues to roll, 222 and counting here in the first quarter. Who's bent over here? Take a look here at that replay. Looked like Graybill might have, he could have broken that tackle there, yeah. might have been able to get in the end zone, but a good defensive play there by Culver. So Sandy now. I'll snap it. Ooh. Yep. Oh! oh! Over his head, he's going to pick it up, and oh. he's going to go down. Yeah, what a time for a bad snap. Yep, all the way back to what the 19-yard line. Graybill, again. Ah. Right through his hands. Let's see here. That was a pretty high snap. Was it high? I yeah. Take a look here at the replay. You can see. Yeah. Well, yeah. not too bad. Well, he didn't he had his hands on his hips and he brought yeah. him up too late. So the Cardinals have it now third down and 18. So Gray Bill calling for the football. Going to throw left this time, has a receiver. Inside to the 10 and down goes Troy Snyder. And that was very similar to the touchdown that they yeah. scored on, except for Snyder did not go into the end zone on that. He kind of, you know. But they picked up a lot, about 10 on that one? Yeah, they got eight. or nine. Eight. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, so it now brings up fourth and 10. Oh, they're going to try a field goal. They're going to try a field goal. And Cohen Mace 
is the field goal kicker when I was down there on the field before the ball game. Coaches came over and told Coach Gamble he's 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 good from 35 and in. So well, this we'll one's out. this one's going to be about uh, 27, and the kick is up and good. it is good. Good. So good Cohen Mace with a 27 year, uh, yard field goal puts the Cardinals back on the board. Something they needed. They scored after the turnover, so they took advantage of it. Yep. There's no question. They'd rather have seven, but hey, take three. Yeah. So the lead is 14 to 10. Hmm. The Wildcats with a four point lead here with 37 seconds to go <laughs> in this first quarter. Not to repeat myself, but sometimes you can score too fast and too easy. Yep. And, <laughs> and you, you fall asleep <laughs> and it's, hop, it's tough to wake them up again. Absolutely. Hey, have you checked out our new Saturday morning high school football show yet? Saturday morning huddle with Kenny Rhoda, Billy Beebe, and the WHBC sports team. Great coach and player interviews, plus a recap of high school football in Stark County. It's every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. It's live on the WHBC Facebook page, the WHBC YouTube channel, and WHBC.com. It's not on the air, but it's on all of our social media channels. Saturday morning huddle. You can check out last week's episode now on YouTube or Facebook. And uh, it's a great show. I uh, checked in the last couple of weeks, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Kenny and Billy Beebe doing the. Wow, that was a kick that right to the up man, and he fell on it immediately. Coach, uh, we had another scoring drive, and we'll try to catch up on all these. Let's, uh, let's talk about that Sandy Valley scoring okay. drive. Okay, number of plays, four, time of possession. One minute and 59 seconds. Total yards minus two. <laughs> and they wind up with a 27-yard field goal by Mace, Canton South 14, Sandy Valley 10. I, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a ball game where you've had a negative two-yard score. scoring drive. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> obviously it has to be a field goal to do it. But So the Wildcats will have it first and 10, their own 45-yard line. Here's Snyder. Has plenty of time, throwing downfield. Oh, off the hands of the intended receiver, Castle, and then off the hands of Troy Snyder, who I think uh, he was a little surprised on the play. Take a look here. Look at the time, though, that Pucci Snyder has back here. Great job by that offensive line. Yeah, there's not, there's not a white shirt around him. Yeah. He's, he's, he's at practice. So brings up a second down and 10. Here's a handoff and a good tackle. tackle there on Culver at Sandy Valley defensive front. Number 74 in there as well. That's Neary. Third down and seven, seven now for the Cardinals as we wind down the first quarter and they are going to let it wind down. And it was a uh, pretty exciting first quarter to say the least. Canton South jumps out quickly the 14 point lead. Sandy Valley scores the last 10 here in the first quarter. We are done with one from Breck Bueller Stadium and Canton South 14, Sandy Valley 10. We'll be back. At AltCare, we care about your well-being and the importance of being well. You deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. 
The Pro Football Hall of Fame is the ultimate football fan destination. The Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy, the only place in America to see every Super Bowl ring, your chance to see all 362 bronze busts. There is so much more, including a holographic Disney-like theater, the game for life, and just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Purchase your tickets online now. Welcome back here as we start the second quarter of play. Snyder going to throw across the middle, has oh, nice a man. Start. Nice catch that time by Castle. And Castle went up and got it. Great throw, great catch. And Canton South moving the chains with the reception there. First down. He can zing them, can he? Yes, sir. Boy. Take a look here at Pucci. Boy, he steps into that. Yes, he does. That's Wide open across the middle there. Here is a handoff and getting some nice chunks of yards all the way to the 25 yard line is Ethan Fricky. He is their power back. As Fricky takes it to the 25 yard line, brings up second down and one for the Wildcats. So I'm going to move it back a little bit, make it second and two on the scoreboard. Snyder going to go back to throw. Now he's going to step up and run, has some room, got the first down, taken all the way down to the 15-yard line. And Pucci Snyder, and Coach, not only is he really good with his arm, he can throw, but he can run. Oh, he's... <laughs> He's a dangerous man. I think he said he's Mr. Everything. Yeah. He can do it all. He can go to his right. He can go to his left. Uh, we, we've seen him when he's thrown between the hashes. He can zing it. And he we haven't seen him uh, the, the sideline pass yet with the touch on. But he's a good one. First, There's no question. Yeah, first and 10 from the 15-yard line. There is a handoff. Has Before. some running room. To the 5, to the 4 goes Zion Culver, and Culver gets the Wildcats to a first and goal. Here's a look at Zion. Nice hole up the middle. Boy, he had a lot of running room. Yeah. So Talk to Coach Dennison. He had his, out of his five offensive linemen, four are returning starters. Mm. Snyder, hands, uh, Culver. And oh, he stopped. He, it. he got stopped at the one yard line. So Culver is denied. Brings up a second down and goal. Take a look here at the play. Nice, nice defensive tackle. play. Good job there by Jason Morris to get in there and make the stop for Sandy Valley. We can't. Uh, Sandy Valley's fighting, aren't they? Yes, sir. They're fighting. So Culver now to the left of Snyder. 